Okay, let me give you guys some more practice. So uh, somehow come up with the parametric equations to describe the motion of this particle moving from infinity all the way to to zero zero, uh, and and it is the angle that we're going to use to keep track of everything. So it is a theta that we're going to use to keep track of everything. And if if you look at this, theta can't be dead on zero. Theta can't be dead on zero. And if you think about it, theta can't be dead on dead on pi over 2. So uh, so theta has to be greater than, well th if you look at this, theta can't can't really be dead on 0. It, it, it won't make it, it won't make the intersection with the particle. So theta can't really be 0. It has to be greater than 0 uh, but less than uh, less than pi over 2. So this bit here I've done for you. So come up with this and this. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, the uh, oh re remember this is a this is a graph of uh, square root uh, square root of x. Okay, so the the secret to doing this is the secret to doing this is really just to call this length here x. Okay, so 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 let's say let, let's say this length here is x. Then the height here must be root of x. So once you've got this, then you can make the statement. Oh, if if you tan the angle, if you tan the angle, then it will be it will be uh, it will be opposite over adjacent, and then now now once you've got this times both sides by x, that will then take you to to here, and then square both sides, that will then take you to here. Uh, take away x from both sides, that will then take you to here. Let me just tidy this up uh, and rewrite it as this. Okay, so so now factorize the x, so that will then give you this. So so basically you're you're looking. Uh, for x, uh, well, you you you're trying to make this whole thing here to be zero. So that 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 will mean either either this is zero or this is zero because here you've got you've got one thing multiplying another thing. So either this is zero or this is zero. So let's let's discard this one and, and make use of this one. So uh, so from this here, add one. So looking at this, uh, looking at this, add one to both sides. That will then give you this. And then, uh, and then, uh, and then divide both sides by this. So that, so x is given by this. So as theta moves about, uh, as theta moves about, x will be given by, given by this. Okay, so, so now to find y, so to find y, let's, let's call this height here y. Well, if, if this height here is y, then this must be y squared, because, because, uh, the, the graph was y equals root of x. So, so if you if you've got this value here, then then to get the uh, to get this length here, then you square it. Well, anyway, if this is if this is a height of y, then this here has a length of of y squared. So now, once you've got this, you can actually make the statements that if you tan the angle, then it will be uh, it will be opposite over adjacent. That will then give you this, and then it's the same process. Follow through the same process as earlier. And then it will give you this, okay? And if, if you think about it, earlier we we had x equals one over over uh, ten squared theta, and we we uh, we had a graph of uh, y equals root of x. So once uh, once you've got once you once you've got this, once you've got once you've got this length here, then to get the height. Then you square root it. You, you can so from here you can just really square root it to give you y. So y would be the square root of this, one over uh, ten squared theta. But then re remember, uh, root a over b equals uh, this thing here. So uh, so you so basically this thing here will become uh, root one over uh, root ten squared theta, which is the same as this. So uh, we we could have taken the shortcut. Well, anyway, overall the answer will be uh, will be given by this. Okay.